Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, who has bestowed many blessings and favors upon us all. Without His grace, we would face great difficulties. Peace and blessings also, let us bestow upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The development of Islam in the world is increasingly rapid. Muslim migrants have a great influence, both directly and indirectly. Many figures in the world left their old religions for a bright era. Like the Swedish ambassador, influential people in Sweden and Swedish figures decided to convert to Islam. Their choice to convert to Islam surprised all parties and the Swedish public. He is Mohammed Knut Johan Richard Bernström, who was the former Swedish ambassador to Spain, France, Russia, the United States, Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, and Morocco. His journey to Islam began when he was appointed as ambassador to Morocco and lived in Morocco for seven years. For seven years he saw the daily activities of Muslims, from the call to prayer and praying to the mosque. What touched his heart was when Muslims performed the dawn prayer in congregation at the mosque. He said, Muslims have a strong will. Even on cold days in winter, they get up early to perform the dawn prayer in congregation. The curiosity he felt made him want to learn about Islam and Muslims. Learning Arabic and studying the Quran to find answers to his curiosity about Islam and Muslims. But, while studying the Qur'an, without him realizing and feeling it, the Qur'an changed his life from the realm of darkness to the realm of light. The more he studied the Qur'an, the more it changed his life from ignorance to progress. He also said, since studying the Qur'an and Islam, he found the values of Islam. This is the reason that made him convert to Islam. In 1986, he became the Swedish ambassador to Morocco between 1976 and 1983. During his tenure, Mohammed Knut Bernström loved Moroccan culture. In 1983, he decided to retire and then embraced Islam in 1986 after mastering Arabic and studying the Quran. After converting to Islam, he tried to introduce Islam to his country in Sweden. In his preaching, he asked the state and its people to reduce the distance between Islam and the West, especially in Sweden. Furthermore, he was also a memorizer of the Quran and translated the Quran into Swedish in a book titled The Message of Quran and distributed it throughout his country. At the age of 67, because of his efforts, the relationship between Muslims and the West, especially Sweden, became more harmonious. It is an inspiration for Muslims for all their struggles in spreading Islam. The Moroccan government, by order of Princess Shyamsu binti Hamza al Nayan, after hearing the story of Muhammad Knut Bernström's journey to Islam, ordered to make a film about his journey to Islam. The film is a production of the Moroccan government. In the film, it tells the life of the ambassador as a Westerner who loves his new religion. Mohammed Knut Bernström died on October 21, 2009. He loved Islam and Muslims very much. He was also a memorizer of the Quran. To commemorate his services in introducing Islam in Sweden, the Moroccan government replayed the documentary film that told his journey for a week. The documentary film is titled Between Two Worlds, directed by Ovidio Salazar. Ovidio Salazar is an award-winning director with more than 40 years of experience in filmmaking. Originally from Santa Monica, California, he began his studies in theater and comparative religion. To enhance his knowledge, he traveled to Europe and then to the Near and Middle East, studying in Paris, Istanbul, Cairo, and London. This is the inspirational story of Mohammed Knut Johan Richard Bernström, the former Swedish ambassador who converted to Islam after studying the Quran and admiring the life of Muslims. 
His story proves that Islam is a universal religion that can be accepted by anyone, regardless of background, culture, or nation. His story also shows that the Quran is a living book that can give guidance, wisdom, and happiness to anyone who wants to read it with a pure heart and an open mind. May we learn from his story and love Islam and the Quran more. May we also become good ambassadors of Islam who can convey the messages of Islam in a wise, polite, and attractive way. May we also become obedient Muslims who can perform the worship of Islam with devotion, consistency, and sincerity. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Peace be upon you, and Allah's mercy and blessings. Thank mm -hmm. you.